Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about how to avoid unexpected problems when installing a twin or triple disc clutch. One of the variables that you may incur when installing a multi-plate clutch is the throwout bearing. If you're using a clutch that has a universal aftermarket throwout bearing, what happens is the distance between the throwout bearing and the clutch is different. So you're going to use shims to make up that distance to get the throwout bearing the correct distance from the clutch. If the shim distance is correct, the transmission will operate just as it should. If the shim distance is incorrect, you can have a situation where the clutch does not disengage or you have um, not enough air gap between the throwout bearing and the clutch and the clutch actually preloads the pressure plate. And if you do that, you can create some clutch slippage or worse, uh, smash the throwout bearing into the engine hard enough that it ruins the thrust bearing in the engine. So the multi plate clutch itself is a pretty robust piece and it will deal with a lot of abuse. However, if you don't do this step correctly where you have an incorrect preload or not enough stroke on the pressure plate, it's gonna create a, a headache for you and it won't work well and you won't be getting what you expected and you could possibly damage the clutch or the engine in the process. So a few of the problems that you may encounter if you have an incorrectly shimmed throwout bearing is the clutch could slip unexpectedly. So you have a clutch that should hold 800 horsepower, but it's slipping at 500 horsepower because it's got additional preload on the pressure plate directly taking clamping force away from it. If you haven't shimmed the throat bearing close enough to the clutch, you're going to depress the pedal and the transmission will not go in and out of gear because the clutch is not disengaging. Arguably the worst outcome of an improperly shimmed throat bearing is you have the throat bearing with so much preload against the back of the pressure plate and the back of the crankshaft that it's now pushing the crankshaft forward and what happens then is you can wipe out the thrust bearing of the engine. So one of the benefits of a multi-plate clutch is you're getting additional clamping force without having all that additional load on the crankshaft wear on the thrust bearing. Well, when you install the throwout bearing incorrectly and you have it over shimmed to where it's smashed up against the pressure plate before you even start the show, then it's going to push that forward and kill the thrust bearing in the engine. So to measure the setup height correctly, you're gonna need a straight edge and a pair of calipers or a straight edge and a measuring tape or a ruler. It's not something that needs to be absolutely precise. If you get it within 30, 40 thousandths of an inch, it'll be okay. So you're gonna put a straight edge against the back of the bell housing or the back of the engine block and you're gonna measure the distance between the mounting flange and the finger height of the pressure plate. Once you have that measurement, you're going to measure the distance between the throwout bearing, the collapsed throwout bearing, so it's pushed all the way in, and the mounting face of the transmission. And the difference between those two is the air gap that you're gonna have between the bearing and the pressure plate when they're at rest. As most hydraulic release bearings are universal, there's gonna be two types of shims you're gonna be concerned about. There's gonna be one that actually ends up being the mounting pad that mounts the throwout bearing to the transmission, and then you're gonna have a variety of thin shims that are going to stack between the piston of the throwout bearing and the actual sleeve that the bearing rides on. I do strongly recommend twin and multi-plate clutches. They hold a lot more power, they're easier on your leg to drive, and they're easier on the engine in regards to the amount of thrust load and the reciprocating mass goes down because they're typically lighter. But you have to do the measurements correctly when you install the clutch or you're gonna have problems. I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.